apocalypse um, lip lacquers. Basically these are kind of described as being a hybrid between a lipstick and a lip gloss um, and a lip stain kind of all rolled into one. Lip stains and lip lacquers have become really popular in the last couple of months and I'm really liking it because I'm such a lip person. So there has been huge hype about these. Um, I wasn't sure at first because there, there, there are so many lip stains and things that on the market at the moment but um, having tried these I can understand why there was such hype. So basically here is the packaging of them. They come in um, a black top and it kind of fades down to the actual colour you get. So I'll show you two different colours. So it fades down to you can see whatever colour you're going to get. There are eight colours in the collection and yesterday I picked up six of them. Um, just to let you know they are on offer in Boots 3 for 2 at the moment. Now it wasn't, the sign actually wasn't on the stand, it didn't say 3 for 2 but when I went up to the counter um, the offer just checked out the checkout and I was very lucky enough to realise that I had 16 euro um, Boots points so I basically went back and got three more of my Boots points so I ended up only paying for two um, out of the six. I think I calculated it works out with like 48 euro or something ridiculous if I were to buy all of these. Um, individually they are 7 euro 95 in pounds. I suppose that's about 5.99 or something like that. Um, so 7.95. As I said they are basically a hybrid between a lipstick and a lip gloss and a lip stain. Um, I suppose I'll show you the actual, the wand is a doe foot applicator but it's not like a normal one because We'll see there's the doe applicator but if you look very closely there you can see there's a kind of a dip and there's a hole in there so I think the whole aim of this is that you don't have to double dip um, so you have the product on the actual furry doe, doe foot um, and then an extra little bit comes out of that little that little gap that's there so that's actually really unique they're really really easy to apply I'm going to insert a clip of me trying on each colour so you can see what they're like. I like, like I could do swatches here on my arm to show you, which I probably actually will anyway, just for the sake of seeing the colour in a, like in a blob. Um, but I like doing lip colour swatches on the lips because they always, always turn out different on the lips, obviously because your, your lips are pink. So um, I've done both, so I hope that's helpful for, helpful for Before you. Before these came out, I actually knew they were going to be coming out because I knew Fleur de Force and a couple of other bloggers and vloggers had received them as PR samples and whatnot. So I had been doing a bit of research before I bought these. They are kind of still hard to get at the moment, so you might have to go to bigger branches of boots and um, like very regular stockists, people who really keep up to date with what's coming out new. But boots usually are the best to go because they get in all the new stuff first, I think. So I definitely recommend trying out boots. Plus, if you can get, if you can get that three for two offer, it's such a bargain. Um, Definitely get into boots if you can soon. Okay, so here are the swatches on my arm. This first one is called Luna. Um, it's turning out very different on the skin than it is in the tube, which is quite surprising because the rest of them are pretty, pretty bang on what you see in the tube is what you get. Um, but this, it looks very peach in the tube, but it turns out more kind of a bit orangey in colour. Now, in a nice way. Don't freak out just because I said orange. In a nice way. So that's um, Luna. Okay, so we're going to start off. I have nothing on my lips. I kind of exfoliated and had a bit of lip balm on as I was applying my makeup and now I have nothing on. So this is the colour of my natural lip. So first we'll start off with the kind of light colours and the first one is Luna. So as you can see there, it's the kind of peachy kind of colour. So that is Luna. Um, it's quite orangey. In person it's not as vibrant orange. It's more toned down. It's quite a subtle peach kind of colour. Um, I suppose it is kind of true to colour there. So if you're into your peaches, it kind of goes well with my hair colouring, I think. So that's a nice kind of subtle peachy kind of colour. The next one is called Celestial. And this is, from all the reviews I've seen so far, people people's most favourite and it's kind of the safest out of them all if I'm being honest but it's still very nice it's like a dusky rose pink kind of colour so that's Celestial there. Okay the so one. the next colour I'm going to try is Celestial as you can see it's kind of um, a kind of blue toned dusky pink kind of colour this one is really popular as a more wearable the more wearable colour from the whole line. The 
The third one is the one that I picked up straight away because I'm a lover of purples and plum kind of colours. This is called Galaxy, so it's the third one. Um, it's kind of a slightly blue toned, bluey brown toned, um, kind of purple plum, like a dirty lilac kind of okay, colour. Okay, so the next shade is a more berry plum colour. This one is called Galaxy. Um, I love my berry purple colour, so I was very excited to try this one. This is definitely turning out a bit more ready on camera. In person it is more, more of a deeper plum kind of colour. Really, really, really happy with this one. Really, really like Next it. This one is called Stellar. This is one that, another one that really caught my eye. And it's actually bleeding a little bit on my arm. Um, but we will put it to the test in a while. This is called Stellar. So that's the fourth one there. It's a really beautiful pinky coral kind now of colour. one that really stood out when I saw it first. It's called Stellar. And it's a real pinky coral kind of colour. This is a really kind of unique colour. It's it's such like on the lips it kind of looks like a right mix between a pink and an orange and it's really it definitely makes um, blue eyes pop so I definitely recommend this if you have blue eyes and you like a bright kind of corally pink lip colour. Next one is called Apocalyptic and it's a blue toned kind of fuchsia pink so that's that. The okay so one this there. next one is called Apocalyptic, Apocalyptic and it's kind of a it's a pink with a kind of purpley blue tint, a little blue purpley tint. Um, really, it looks really nice anyway. Um, on the lips, it turns out kind of, I hope these are coming out a bit true to color. It looks very um, coral on camera, but in person it is really definitely like a purple tinted blue pink colour. Um, it's a bit different than it, on the lips than it is in the tube. A really nice, a really nice blue tinted and pink. The final one that I have is the red colour and it's called Big Bang. In on on the skin and in the tube it looks really just like a normal brick red solid red colour but on the lips as you'll see in a minute it turns out okay, a little and bit this different. Final one is the red standout colour it's called Big Bang and it's just a a true brick red kind of colour. On camera it's turning out a little more orange than it is in person. In person it is quite just, um, it's a little bit pinky shade red. It's not as red as it appears in the tube on the lips. Maybe it's because of the pigmentation of my lips, my natural lips, but it turns out as a red with a more of a hint of a pink in it, but it's still a really, really nice red. So they are all the colours. As you can see, they're super pigmented, like really, really pigmented. Um, super shiny as well. So. First impressions, really, really good. Like on my arm, these look appealing to me, honestly. Like, um, so that is them on, on the skin. I actually just wiped the swatches off my arm with a micellar lotion and it's actually really stained my arm. So I'm hoping that these are going to be really long lasting. Like even the orange colour and the lightest colour, Celestial, they're really, you can really see them on my skin still and obviously the reds and the pinks are really vibrant still. So I'm hoping these are going to be really long lasting because these are after staining even removing them with makeup um, remover. So fingers crossed these pass the test of time. Okay, so to test these even further, I'm going to do a time test. So I'm going to apply it now and see how it um, lasts throughout the day over here on my hand. I'm going to apply it now and see how it lasts throughout the day. So I don't have much planned for today. Today is Saturday, so I'll just kind of be around the house. Um, might go for a walk. I'll let you know what I do, but um, I'm going to do a time test just out of curiosity to see how long it lasts. So I'm going to use the red because um, it's the deepest, most vibrant colour. Um, and I think you'll get to see true effects of the red. If I do like one of the light colours, it won't be as apparent. So I'm going to really use the, um, a bright brick red kind of colour. So I'm going to apply it now.
Okay, so I've just applied that now and the current time is 12.04. So it's just kind of midday now. So I'm going to go about my day. So here it is, first application. As you can see, it's quite shiny, really, really pigmented and vibrant. Just really, oh, I'm really excited about these products. You can kind of tell. So I'm excited to see how it lasts throughout the day and I will check back in later. So it's currently 4pm, um, I haven't eaten yet but I'm about to eat so I wanted to just to show you what it's like before I eat. Um, it's lasted really really well, as you can see it's still really really pigmented. Um, it has it has lost a little bit, I think a little bit of the glossiness but it's still really, it actually is still pretty shiny. Um, it has bled the tiniest, I don't know if you can see or not, it has bled the tiniest tiniest little bit um, on the top of my lips but that's only when you look really really close. Um, it's a little bit drying on the corners, but other than that it's actually lasted, it's really creamy still and really moist in the middle. So the only tiny qualm is that it's a little bit dry in the corners. Um, I'm not sure if you can see in this light or not, but um, I'm going to have something to eat now and I'll check back then. So it's currently 10 past 6 and I'm just after eating. As you can see, I hope you can see, um, the glassiness has gone, most of the colour has kind of gone, but I'm definitely left with a stain. I'll turn around this way so you can kind of see. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to focus or not. But I'm definitely left with kind of a red, pinky stain. So there it is there, and this is, as I said, um, at 10 past 6 p.m. So that's the way it's looking. Hi everyone, so I'm back home now and it is just gone half seven, so 7.30 p.m. Um, so I went seven and a half hours basically almost exactly with the apocalypse on my lips today. As you can see the shine now has completely gone and I'm left completely with just a stain. At the moment it's just about noticeable. Um, after eating, I lost the glossiness, but as I said, the stain was there. Now it's definitely more of a muted stain. It's definitely fade, fearing, fearing. It's definitely fading off. So, um, but I would say this lasts a good, good six hours. Like I started to eat after the sixth hour. Um, so maybe after eating you would need to touch up. Not This is a huge deal. I never really have a big deal with how long things last in the lips um, because I like to reapply lip products but I wanted to do it just to see out of curiosity. Um, so basically I do, I give it a good five to six hours. Like pigmentation you could see throughout the day like it's super super pigmented and it was just after eating. By the way I don't think I mentioned it was actually like a four course meal I had so I proper ate and drank and put put it through the test so um, the lighting is a bit, is a bit um, weird at the moment as you can see it's actually very dark but you can see that it's um, I'm just left with the stain so there it is like that you can see there you can see the stain because when I do this you can see in here that's my natural lip colour so I'm left with the stain mostly on the outer but it doesn't look um, it doesn't look very uneven or anything like that. It looks quite even, it looks um, just like a stain. So overall, I'm thoroughly, thoroughly, one second, I'll grab it. I'm thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with the Apocalypse. Highly, highly recommend them. For 7 95 they're such, such a bargain. Like, they they sound like they're such a dupe for the YSL glossy stains. Now, I have ordered one of those. I have it, and I'm going to put it to the test, but I wanted to get this up. Um, ASAP because I know these are new products that people are interested so it's definitely a thumbs up for me I highly recommend you to try these out and as I showed you the six colors that I have there's a good um, good range of colors for people who aren't as daring and definitely for people who are daring so thoroughly enjoyed wearing these and I hope you found this video useful talk to you soon bye